Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's podcast. Kakra has been sharing a powerful message titled How to Love the Lord. Today, he speaks about what God's love language is. Let's join in. If you want to express love to God, what do you have to do? So, let's start. When God rescued Israel from Egypt, no, they were in slavery for 400 years. And within that 400 years, God did not speak to Israel again. So the last time you see God speaking to Israel was the time of Jacob and Joseph. The next time God spoke to them, was when Moses appeared on the scene. And they were slaves. So they didn't know God at all. So when Moses went to tell them that the Lord says, I should come and deliver you, they said, who is he and what is his name? They said, we don't know him. Then Moses said, he is called I am. He said, I am that I am, which means the self-existent one. So he introduced himself. So, all this time, the only communication between Israel and God was Moses. And when he rescued them, God said, now I want to have a meeting with them for the first time. So, God told them that they should meet him on Mount Sinai. So, when they went up the mountain, God explained to them, why he had brought them there. Exodus chapter 19, verse 4, God said, You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all the nations. So here God told them, he told them the reason. He said, the reason why I rescued you is number one, I want you to obey my commandments. Number two, I want to have a covenant with you. A covenant is like a contract. But it is a one-sided contract in the sense that the person tells you, if you do this and this and this, I will do this and this and that. That's all. But the most important thing I want you to know is that when they arrived there in chapter 20, he said, I'm the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. That's in verse 2. Then he started talking about the Ten Commandments. Then in verse 6, he tells them his love language. He says, showing mercy unto thousands that love me and keep my commandments. So as he was introducing himself and telling them about this contract and what he expects from them and what will happen if they keep the contract, he said, remember that you are supposed to show me love. And he says, my love language is keeping my commandments. So if you want to show God that you love him, it's to keep my commandments. So this is God himself talking to the people directly for the first time. Jesus also repeated the same thing. John chapter 14 verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. So this is the New Testament now. 21, he says, he that has my commandment and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. So Jesus said, if you want to prove that you love me, he said, the proof is that you must keep my commandment. 23, if a man love me, he will keep my commandments. Now I want to give the third person. First John chapter 5 verse 3. The disciple who was known for love is John. First John chapter 5, verse 3. 
This is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous or harmful or difficult to follow. So, here are three people telling us God's love language. Thank you for joining us. Today we've learned that God's love language is that we obey Him and keep His commandments. Join us again tomorrow for continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Pregnant after almost a year of trying. Dear Kakra, I tried to conceive for almost a year and I wrote to you just last month to pray for me and you replied that you had. I just got a positive report that I am pregnant. I give God all the glory. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 207 515 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.